A Letter from the Editor by Stephen Harlan for Scrapbooking.com's February 2013 issue. Welcome to February's issue of Scrapbooking.com magazine in our newest series, Introducing Mixed Media. Mixed media has always been a part of Scrapbooking.com, and we felt it was high time that we gave it its own department. If you're wondering exactly what defines mixed media, our article this month is a perfect way to start answering that question. A great example of mixed media is our Love in a Box Paper project by Kay. Take a peek and be surprised. Enjoy your Valentine's Day paper crafting or try your hand at another mixed media project, Love Plaque. Of course, February brings Valentine's Day in the memory of all those special moments we have shared with our loved ones. Valentine's Day isn't only just about sending cards. It's also about making home decor projects that fit the season, as Kay shows us with her heart medley frame. Valentine's Day is known for its splash of color, and Luminart does it best with this The Heart of the Art Luminart Project, a must-read article. If you're looking for that special Valentine's Day project, then make a Valentine flower box, or how about making our Love You card using several fun and creative paper crafting techniques. This month, Meet the Artist showcases Susan Tierney Cockburn. Susan designs a line of dyes for creating realistic flowers for Ellison Sizzix. Her Susan Garden line was a huge hit when it made its debut last month at CHA Anaheim. Our history feature article takes us back to 1957 and the former USSR. Dr. Irit Shalom captures her mom at the age of 23 in her best Russian fashion. Our design team helps us remember that special day we all have, each year, our birthday. Freddie made a rose card for her dear friend out of metal, and Kathleen reminds us to be treated like a queen on your special day. The Best of Times is a great layout about those rare occasions when we get all dressed up with our children. Minor Alterations Part 2 focuses on cutting up deconstructing and reconfiguring found items and artificial flowers that you can use for a variety of projects. Learn how Michelle created her brotherly love layout using spellbinder dies and hobnail bezels. I hope you enjoy this newest issue of Scrapbooking.com magazine and I wish you all a wonderful Valentine's Day. Artistic creativity to you all from Stefan Harlan.